The art of letting other people determine your worth. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop seeking external validation and validate yourself instead. If you're new here, welcome. Here on this channel, we talk about self-love, mindset mastery, and building unshakable self-confidence. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe to get notified when I upload new videos. Now, before we get into my step-by-step -step guide on how to validate yourself, I want to answer one very important question. Why do we seek validation? There are lots of reasons why we might be seeking validation from others but I'm going to mention the five most common ones. The first one is fear of rejection. The second reason is trying to rewrite the past. The next reason why you might be seeking validation is you want to have a sense of belonging. The next reason for seeking validation from others is having low self-esteem. And the last reason why we seek validation from others is we simply don't know how to do it ourselves. Now let's get into my eight helpful tips on how to stop seeking validation from others and learn to validate yourself. My first tip is to question your negative beliefs. Here on this channel, you often hear me talk about the link between your negative thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. But today we're going to focus on the negative beliefs that you have about yourself. Now you might be wondering, how can you find what negative beliefs you have about yourself? I'm going to give you a quick hack on how to spot them. Next time you have a negative thought such as, I can't do this, I'm such a failure, I look so ugly today. I want you to spot it, write it down somewhere, and then go about your day. Now, I want you to run this experiment for a few days and you will notice that there are some thoughts that simply go on non-stop in your mind. They keep repeating over and over again. Those are the ones that you need to pay attention to. Every time that there is an I or me involved in these thoughts, it directly reflects the way you see yourself. And it can give you a pretty good idea of what negative beliefs you have about yourself. Okay, now that you know some of your negative beliefs, it's time to start questioning them. How accurate are they? Who told you that? Is it a fact or simply an opinion? The more thought-provoking questions you ask yourself, the easier it will be to shake things up and spot the beliefs that no longer serve you. My next tip on how to validate yourself is to become aware of your needs. This might sound like an easy one, but the truth is that most of us have no idea what we actually need. So how can you figure out what your needs are so that you can learn how to meet them yourself? Let's say that you seek external validation from men. You want to impress them, get compliments from them, and want to feel like they pay enough attention to you. Your need in this situation might be to feel seen, understood, and accepted for exactly who you are. Okay, so next time you feel the need to get external validation from guys, what can you do instead? You can try an alternative way to meet that need. For example, if your need is to feel seen, I want you to try journaling so that you can see yourself more clearly. Get to know yourself better. Explore your likes and dislikes. Find out what makes you happy and fulfilled on your own. I want you to try this exercise for any need that comes to mind. And then move on to the next step, which is to accept the gray zone. One of the best ways to stop seeking external validation from others is to realize that most things aren't black or white. I want you to pay attention to some of the statements you say to yourself in your mind that includes words like never or always. They're a pretty good indicator of black and white thinking. So I want to introduce you to the gray zone. The gray zone is the middle part, the not so glamorous, mundane, repetitive part of your day. Most of our lives happen in the gray zone. Now, when we seek validation, we often feel awful and we're looking for that drop of outside approval to feel a little bit better about ourselves. I want you to imagine that your self-worth is a leaky bucket. You keep filling it with external validation, but no matter how much you do it, it's never gonna be enough because it keeps leaking out. So instead of striving for amazing, spectacular, out of this world experiences all the time and looking for others to fill the void you feel inside, you can accept that most of our lives happen in the gray zone. You don't have to be liked by everyone. Make people laugh with every single joke you say or get the best birthday presents every single time. You can accept that sometimes you'll get it right and sometimes you will be completely wrong. And that's okay. That's part of being human. So my tip here on validating yourself is to accept that it's normal to have highs and lows in life, but also be okay with mostly grace. My fourth tip on how to validate yourself is to praise yourself. If you're used to beating yourself up all the time, this might be a difficult one. So I want you to start small without overwhelming yourself. Now praising yourself could be saying things to yourself like, you did good today. I'm proud of you. Keep going. You've got this. The important thing is to praise yourself in a way that seems genuine and authentic to you. Imagine that you're talking to a friend and you want to encourage them to keep going or tell them how much they mean to you. Use this frame next time you feel bad about yourself or you have the urge to seek external validation. Try to get it from the source instead, which you guessed it right, is you. 
Sometimes not knowing how to praise yourself has something to do with being too critical of yourself. So if you're wondering why you're being so mean to yourself and you're ready to stop, check out my video on this topic. I will leave a link in the description box below and also in the cards. My next tip on how to stop seeking external validation is to be unapologetically yourself. When we seek validation from others, we're often trying to impress them, make them like us, and that leads to constant people-pleasing. When you're too focused on the other person, you might feel hesitant to share your real thoughts and feelings. So what can you do to start expressing yourself more freely and be unapologetically yourself? The first step you can take is to understand what's holding you back from being honest and authentic. Is it fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, or maybe fear of embarrassment? Pay attention to any negative thoughts and feelings that come up. They will show you what's really going on inside so that you can take action in the right direction. That's why I created my signature program called The Queen Within. I want to help you become the woman you aspire to be and become abundantly confident by being unapologetically you. If you want to sign up for the waitlist and be the first to know when the doors open again, just click the link in the description box below or head over to coursimonocom slash waitlist. Tip number six on how to stop seeking validation from others is to let go of resistance. When it comes to self-validation, there is a huge mistake that I see a lot of people make. They're trying to repeat affirmations in the mirror, reprogram the subconscious mind by visualizing who they want to be, but they miss one key ingredient. They have to let go of their resistance first. If you have resistance to become better, if you have resistance to express your emotions, if you have resistance to step into your true power, no amount of external things is going to help you. So how can you let go of resistance? By learning to endure whatever uncomfortable thought you have and any negative emotions you experience or any difficult situation you might find yourself in. Your resistance is the reason why you find it hard to validate yourself. When you're used to feeling bad about yourself, it's extremely difficult to flip the switch and suddenly become your number one fan. So I want you to start small. Just observe them without trying too hard to change them. Which actually brings me to my next tip, which is to stop caring what others think. If you take just one thing from this video, let it be this. The shortcut to self-validation is to stop caring what other people think of you. There's an interesting exercise I've learned from Stoicism called practicing poverty. And I think it's very fitting when it comes to not caring what others think of you. The idea of practicing poverty is to face potential embarrassment by exposing yourself to uncomfortable situations to build resilience and tolerance. Here are a few ways you can practice poverty in your life by getting into uncomfortable situations. Go out with old, stained clothes that have holes in them to break your attachment to material possessions and the way others perceive you. Or mess up your mascara or eyeliner on purpose before leaving the house. Or try out anything else that would make you feel slightly uncomfortable so that you can stop caring what other people think. I promise you, this will be extremely difficult at first. But it might be exactly what you need to break the cycle of caring too much about what other people think of you. My next tip on how to validate yourself is to do small acts of self-love. After going through probably the hardest one, which was to detach yourself from other people's opinions of you, it is time to try out something fun and light. I want you to think of small daily acts that you can try to show yourself some love. I'm talking about all kinds of self-care ideas and ways to show yourself some kindness and grace. For example, pamper yourself with a nourishing hair mask that you've been saving only for special occasions. Or say what you really mean next time someone asks for your input. I've actually created the ultimate workbook called 365 Days of Self-Care, which will take the guesswork out of what you do every single day for an entire year. It is just one of the amazing tools in the self-love toolkit, which is my proven step-by-step -step framework that will help you learn to love yourself unconditionally. If you want to learn more, click the first link in the description box below or head over to www.selflovetoolkit.com. Now, seeking validation from others often has something to do with lack of self-trust. So if you want to learn how to really trust yourself, make sure to watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that video.